Welcome back everyone. In today's session of ours, we are going to have a hands-on experience on Jupyter Notebook. In our last session, we looked into what are IDs, what are the different kinds of, of IDs, and we also looked into how to execute our first ever Python code. Now, without wasting much of our time, let's start with opening out with Anaconda Navigator. Clicking on Anaconda Navigator, this is how the UI of Anaconda Navigator looks like. In this, as I have mentioned before, we are going to use Jupyter Notebook or the Notebook environment as our personal choice of ID to grow out. Now, clicking on Jupyter Notebook, this is what will open up. These are all the files and directories that are present in your system. So what we are going to do is we are going to move into uh, documents. We are going to move into documents. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. For creating a new folder, you have to click on the new tab that is present on the right hand side. Clicking on this over here, we will be having a folder option. Clicking on that. Over here, right now, we will be having an untitled folder. Now, how to rename it? Select this folder and then click on the rename bar. I'll change it to our, our first Python code. Now it has been successfully changed. Uh, you can check out our first Python code. Now opening out this folder, if you want to see in your system, a folder in your documents will already be present with the name of our first Python code. Now we want to create a notebook for us. So we have to click on new then again on python 3 it will take quite a few times uh, to open out now that it has been opened out first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to change out the name of this notebook so i'm going to change it to from untitled i'm going to change it to jupyter intro now, if I revert back, you can see that over here, I have a green symbol, which says that this is a running notebook. To check it out, you can also click on the running tab. You can see that our uh, notebook, that is ipynp file. As I've told you that this is not a Python script. When you are writing any code in Spider or any full ID like PyCharm, then you have to change the the extension will be in dot py but as this is a notebook environment we are gonna move into dot py np now green sign says that it is an active if you want to shut this notebook shut down this notebook then you can just select it and click on shut down now moving back to jupyter intro this is how a jupyter notebook looks like this is an active cell these cells are where you will be writing out this your code. Now moving back to our most famous Python code that is printing out hello world. How to execute it out. One of the ways to execute this line is just move into cell and click on return cells and it will print out hello world. Now again what does a print statement does print statement only prints out whatever you have written inside the inverted commas it will display out exactly that on the screen these are known as output statement we'll discuss more about it once we move into our uh, programming segments now successfully we have executed our first line of code that is printing out hello statement hello world uh, statement now we want to create more and more cells but before creating more and more cells a very important thing that you should be looking out if you can see right now this bar over here is in blue color but if i click on it it becomes green what is the meaning of this so the meaning of this is in green it tells us that this is in editorial mode but if you want to move into navigation mode where you are able to create new cells or uh, navigate anywhere around it then 
you can just move into the blue color navigation mode now it's very easy to move around places that is just click on the cell it will move into your editorial mode if you want to move into navigation mode click on this space now this can be done by your keyboard also right now you can see that i am in my editorial uh, in my navigation mode clicking enter will make me move into the editorial mode going back is very easy just click on escape one thing to remember over here is that in navigation mode you cannot write anything only in editorial mode you are able to write any python code moving back to navigation mode i want to create some new cells to create some new cells for creating a cell above this cell of us we have to click a every time you click a a new cell will be generated now if you want to create a new cell below of it then you have to press b that's how you can create out your cell now again let's write out a python code print what it commas hello now if you want to run it using your keyboard you just have to press control enter or shift enter there's quite a small difference between both of them but both will help you do your things done control plus enter also executes the same thing shift plus enter also executes the same line but what happens in shift plus enter is after execution of this line that is after execution of the first line it will move on to the next line but when you are clicking control plus enter control enter it will remain in the same line again you can navigate around all of these to navigate you can just move around with your mouse keys arrow using your arrow keys you can navigate anywhere around your place so that's a quick intro about jupiter now there might be times where your kernel might just have stopped out or your python code is not reciprocating so what you can do in that kind of scenarios is just click on kernel and in kernel you can just click on interrupt if you want to interrupt that code or you want to restart your kernel or you want to restart and clear all output let me restart and clear the output yes now you can see that all the outputs has been cleared out same thing we have restart and run all also all the cells will be run on correspondingly these were quite the shortcuts that you are going to use mostly in while coding out in jupyter notebook but we are going to look into more and more shortcuts once we start with our coding segments if you want to look into what are the different shortcuts available you can just press on help and over here we have keyboard shortcuts in this we have following all the shortcuts that you will be needing to play around in jupyter notebook but as of now we have already looked into most of the cell, uh, important shortcuts that are important that's it for today thank you everyone in our next session we will be starting with hands on experience into jupyter notebook and python programming